Hi, let's understand about the another indicator which is used in drive test, which is RSSI. Now, it is basically the overall signal strength that is being received across the complete band which is being used. Now, in a RSRP where we were just talking about the the power or the signal strength that is being distributed only to the reference signals, which is providing the idea about the coverage. But what if we have other signals and channels that are present in that off dim symbols or how their the overall signal strength or the power received power is, we need to measure that also. In that case, the RSSI comes into the picture. RSSI, what it does, any particular symbol which is carrying the reference signal, it will consider the power across all the different signals and channels. It means all the resource elements within that OFTM symbols will be considered and average out and that will be considered as a RSSI. So let's take an example where earlier we were just talking about these white uh, resource elements or reference signals and taking the average of the power for these re resource elements. In RSSI, we are going to measure the power across all the resource elements within this particular OFTM symbol, which is carrying reference signal. Why do we need it? Because if in case we have certain adjacent signals, channels, which are coming from the neighboring cells, if their power is very high, if, if they are over transmitting in that case, or if they're overlapping with the serving cell in that case, that would be considered as an interference. And here by the mean of RSSI, we can actually estimate that. So RSSI in case of a 100% loading, it means what is the overall received signal strength in that case would be, it would be all the resource elements that are being catered by a particular OFTM symbol, which is carrying the reference signals, all the power across these different resource block and subcarriers that will be considered as RSSI. So RSSI in nutshell, it is the noise which is coming from the neighboring cells plus the serving cell power because we are considering the RSRP in this case also which is included because we are considering the power for the reference signals and we have some interference which is coming. 